Okay, so quick version of saving scenes. If you look over here on the, uh, the right side of the console, you'll see this area labeled scenes. And a lot of times it's gonna have a button lit up and there's a view button right here to the side. If we push this, we'll see the screen change. And typically what it's going to come up to uh, by, by default is the cues page. Now what we wanna do is use these arrow keys and page over to where it says scenes. Here you have some uh, different options here that you can then scroll down. This is where we could either load a scene, save a scene, or make some edits to a scene, uh, saving its name and such. But what we would do is choose the area that we want with this encoder, the second one. Then we can push it to save. Now we can use this keyboard here to give it a name and then, and I'll just hit the letter Q for easy example. And then we can hit save. And so now we have this scene is saved here with the letter Q. We could then go back up and select a different scene and push this first one, which is loading. And it says, do you really want to load this scene? And you'll notice that over here on the far right, it, uh, the arrow key says yes. And so we can push yes to confirm. And now this scene is loaded and everything is here. I could then go to a different scene that I have. I could push load and confirm. And now you'll see everything. Well, you won't see that everything changes, but everything changes. And then I could go back down to our scene that we made called Q. I can push the load button and hit go. And now it is back to where we started. One thing to note, uh, because this loads on cues instead of scenes, I don't use cues. Cues are more designed for theatrical performances. Uh, and in the environment that I'm in, I just use scenes. So to change that, I can push the setup button, which is up here to the right of the screen. I can page over to the config tab. And then you can use the second encoder knob to kind of to scroll around. It's kind of like a mouse. And you'll see where it says show view and cues is selected. What I can do now is go to scenes. And if I push scenes, then any time on the right hand side that I hit my view button for scenes, now it just goes to my scenes tab, which is really convenient. We pause for a quick commercial break. Please take a second and visit the like button and the subscribe button. Now back to our show. One other thing to note, this is a pro tip that I just learned not too long ago. Uh, you can use the utility button to do some copying, pasting, moving around of your scenes and deleting. So while on the scenes tab, we can hit utility. And now we have some different options that come up here. I could copy this scene and move it up here and then hit paste. Now I've duplicated that scene that we labeled Q. I can then go down to the first one we did, which was in channel 11 or spot 11. And now I can delete it by pushing the delete button and then confirm. And now that one is deleted and moved. Uh, because I actually don't need this, I'm also going to go up uh, to the one that I just moved and hit utility and then hit delete and hit confirm. And so that's a quick way that you can clean up your scenes uh, if you've been using your console for some time and you've got kind of a mixture of scenes loaded in, you can then change things up and, and really consolidate and clean up your workflow. I hope this has been helpful and uh, check back for more videos. We'll see you guys in the next one.